Jasmine Simmons looks like an unlikely choice for a leadership program in Israel. She's just 23, Christian, and African-American. Simmons teaches a bilingual Spanish class at a low-income public school in Oakland, California. You hear about the U.S. and Israel relations, and I was almost a little nervous to explore it because I felt like, where will I get an unbiased opinion? And come and also Israel being so young, like both all of my grandparents that are living are older than Israel. So to think about how things are very much set in stone, I think, culturally, and how resistant I think we are to cultural change in the U.S., whereas here it's a very dynamic process as far as change and social justice and grassroots organization. Simmons is here with reality, bringing young teachers who are members of the elite Teach for America program to Israel for 10 days. Their mission is to end educational inequity in the U.S. Diana Dabah, a 16-year-old Arab citizen of Israel from the village of Deir al-Assad in the Galilee, tells the media line she was happy to learn from Simmons that there are so many Muslims in America. Dabah wants to shatter some stereotypes the teachers may have about Arabs. A lot of uh, <clears throat> people out of Israel and other country like they have a wrong view of us about like like this some like we do bad things or tourist th things like or it's terrorist thing. yeah it's wrong because we don't we just like a normal person like you just like you like have a hard time we have to work to earn money we like more the same like you and everyone else. <laughs> community's religion and place in Israeli society is explained at a Druze village. Each of the 70 participants has some connection to Judaism. In Simmons' case, her fiancé is Jewish. Alex Klein, a teacher in Denver, Colorado, says he had a revelation at a meeting with Israeli students that he knows will make him a more confident teacher. These students were so amazing that were sitting in front of me and that uh, that even though I'd met them literally 15 minutes ago and would never see them again in my life, I cared about them. Uh, and I, uh, that really, it, it sent a shockwave of emotion through me and I was just very um, serene, uh, and it, but at the same time, like a buzz with uh, emotion and excitement. Nina Safain, a co-founder of the Girls Athletic Leadership School in Denver, says the trip has also deepened her ties to Judaism. I was raised very culturally Jewish, um, practicing traditions, celebrating the high holidays. I had a bat mitzvah, I went to Hebrew school, uh, but I had never found, I feel like, that deep-rooted connection. I think being here has, has made me feel a little bit differently in terms of my, my connection to what it means to be Jewish. And more connected. Absolutely, more connected to what it means to be Jewish. For The Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Usfiyah.